Hi, Jordan Cower here with LongRangeOnly.com. Today we're going to be going over the Christensen Arms Classic. This particular rifle is chambered in a 300 Win Mag. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart and kind of show you what's on the inside of it. And we'll get weighed and go from there. Alrighty, we got it pulled apart. Let's run through all the components. Um, start with the barreled action. Uh, the Classic comes with a stainless steel action and they machine the rail into the action. It's, uh, it's only a zero MOA rail, but with most scopes and hunting applications, that should be just fine get you out to a thousand yards. Uh, this particular model has a Timney Calvin Elite in it. Um, all their guns come with custom triggers, and starting in 2017, they're going to put trigger techs in all their rifles, so if you get a new one, that'll be a little different. Uh, your recoil lug, pretty standard recoil lug. You move on down, you have... Christensen Arms Carbon Barrel. That's what they're famous for. They make a really good barrel. Um, this is a 300 Win Mag. Put the rate of twist right on there, 1 in 10 twists. It's stabilized in 215 burgers very well. Uh, this also comes with a Christensen Arms uh, radial brake. This is their titanium brake, so it won't add any weight on there. Uh, it does a very good job reducing recoil. One thing I don't like about the brake is shooting prone. It uh, It'll blow dust all over you, all over your optics and stuff. Shooting long range, I shoot prone quite a bit. Um, I wouldn't mind swapping this out for their Slayer brake with their side ports. It would be a lot more user friendly in the prone position. But for everyone else, uh, shooting standing, kneeling stuff does a great job reducing recoil. You wouldn't have any issues with debris. And if you don't want to use a muzzle brake, it also just comes with the thread protector you can screw on there. So like I said, it comes with this and the muzzle brake so you can decide if you want it on there or not. Alright, up next we have their stock. Um, Christensen Arms makes their stocks. This is a carbon fiber composite. Um, on the end you have a limb saver recoil pad, really soft recoil pad, works very well. Move on down. The inletting process is really clean and stuff in there. They inlet some aluminum pillar bedding blocks in there. Um, one thing, Jeff got this rifle before me, and you notice there was a little bit of extra room uh, where the recoil lug goes, so we put a little bit of bedding compound in there to tighten that up. Um, never shot the rifle without it to see if it affected accuracy or not, but that was one thing that we did change on it. The rifle will come with two standard sling swivel studs. Um, I got an Evolution bipod I'm throwing on there and it mounts to a rail. Uh, the spacing on it is 3 inch spacing. There's a lot of companies that make rails for it, so if you want to go that route with a quick detach bipod. Alright, up next, we'll go to the bolt. Um, they flute their own bolts. They also flute the bolt shroud. Looks really nice and clean. Um, it's super smooth in their action. They also thread their bolt knob, so you can pull this knob on and throw a bigger one on there if that's what you like. Comes with an M16 style extractor. And on the Magnum cartridges, you can see on there, they put dual ejectors in there, um, just to help it out. Um, super smooth bolt, works very well. Alright, next up, we'll move to the mag box. Um, try and save a little weight, they make this out of carbon fiber. Um, it's a really nice, clean looking mag box. I'm, uh, I'm shooting 215 burgers in this. And see it at 10 thousandths off the lands. I got a shell here if I can show you. You can see you have plenty of room in there. So that's nice. Um, a lot of times it's hard to see the bullets to the lands with these magnum cartridges and the big bullets. All right, now we have the hinge floor plate. It's machined aluminum. Um, they laser engrave Christensen on the bottom. Looks really clean. Um, they put a little bit of an oversized trigger guard on there for those late season hunts when you're wearing gloves and stuff. You can get your finger in there without worrying about bumping the trigger. Um, to open it, kind of harvest not on the gun, your release is on the inside there. Obviously this would work better in the gun. So easy to get to, really smooth. And then you have your action screws. So they use Allen heads, torquing them. It's a lot easier to torque Allen heads. Now let's get this thing put back together and I'll give you a weight on it so we can see what it weighs. Alright, the only scale I have is an old fishing scale so I'm going to be using that. 
on Christensen website it says this gun weighs 7.1 pounds and it looks like it's coming in at 6 pounds 11 ounces all right I got the scope put on uh, put three rounds in the magazine I was gonna weigh this with the bipod but figured not everyone hunts with the bipod so looks like it's weighing 8 pounds 9 ounces Alrighty. I never hunt without a bipod on my rifle, so I always factor that in with the weight of my gun. Got the scope on, three rounds in the mag, my evolution bipod. It looks like we are coming in right at nine pounds, ten ounces. Um, sub ten pounds, ready to hunt. That's not bad for a long range rifle. Alright, so we just went through all the components on the rifle. Um, talk about how I have a setup a little bit. Uh, I have a 6 to 24 by 50 Vortex HSLR on here. Um, for hunting, I like this scope. It has a capped windage. The reticle is very user friendly for holding wind and has an exposed elevation. Um, with this zero MOA rail, I can get, I can get right at 1100 yards shooting these 215 burgers. Um, now, I will now I'm going to walk you through um, kind of the low development. I, my video camera wasn't working then, so I didn't get any video at the range. But I have the targets, so I can show you. I can show you the results there. Um, usually, I like to ladder test and work loads. I hate working loads at 100 yards, but um, our thousand yard range was shut down due to mud, and then the wind never quit blowing. So they're all 100 yard groups, but. Go grab those targets and show them to you. Alrighty, here's a target from the first time I went to the range. Um, started at 75 grains, worked my way up to 75 and a half. Like I said, my thousand yard range was down, so this was all at 100 yards. See, I like the 75, 76, really didn't like the 78. 77 and a half, 77. Um, Jeff had this right for me and said, shot 77 pretty well for him. Um, I want to see if I can tighten that up a little bit. So I loaded up some more rounds. Let me go grab my second target from the second trip to the range. Okay, here's target two from the first trip to the range. Um, really like that 75. Didn't like 78, so I stopped at 77. You see it really like the 75 again. 75 and a half, 76, 76 and a half. This is from my pistol. Ignore that and 77 the groups look pretty much the same um wanted the 77 to work so i loaded up another three that's 77 and that was 75 again uh i really liked how 75 worked out so i loaded a bunch prepped the grass really well and i'll go grab my target from the third range trip Alrighty, here's the results for my third range trip um you can see it keeps liking that 75 grains more and more. That was three shots. Um, had a couple more, so shot three at 300 yards. And yeah, I can't complain about that at all. This load shooting right at 2,900 feet per second. And uh, like I said, I'm shooting the 215 burgers. Alrighty, well, that should wrap up the review on this Christmas Arms Classic 300 Win Mag. Um, went through the components, what it kind of makes up this rifle. As I mentioned, the only thing we changed was. We added some bedding compound on the recoil lug. I swapped out the dual swing sw sling swivel studs for this rail. Um, you can see the load development went really well. They claim sub MOA guarantee on this rifle, and it exceeded that by a long ways. Um, if I had to change anything about this rifle, I would I would put a Slayer brake on it. Um, shooting long range, I'm always prone out, and that was blowing a lot of crap all over me. Uh, other than that, the way it comes, it's it's a really nice rifle. As as you seen earlier, it was nine pounds ten ounces. That's with scope, bipod, three in the mag, ready to hunt. Um, it's a very packable rifle. It's bear season here right now. I'm hoping to take it out and get a bear with it in the next few weeks. If you enjoyed the review, um, please subscribe to our YouTube or follow us on Instagram, and Facebook at LongRangeOnly.com. Thanks for watching.